Hey guys, what is going on? Today we're going to do an easy simulation tutorial on Blender using the Cycles engine. So let's just go over to the render engine, turn it to Cycles. If you've got a GPU, use it because we're going to need all the speed we can get. So let's just go and delete everything in the scene and let's add a ground plane so we're going to go shift a plane s8 enter now go control a and apply scale now let's add our cube in so shift a cube and i want to move this up so i'm going to click g z and lift it around about there now we're going to go and add some materials to it. So we're going to go to the material, click new, and we're going to give it some, turn the transmission all the way up. We're going to turn the roughness down to 100, near 160. I want to go to the material, we shall go put some modifiers on here. So go to the modifier page modify icon click add a modifier and we're going to add a solidify modifier and we're going to go turn the thickness up to 100 or 1 and we're also going to add a bevel and we're going to give it four segments. As you can see it's th very thin. So now let's go over to the render and get some artificial light on there. What we're going to do is we're going to go shade smooth. I'm going to go shift D duplicate and then we're going to scale it down. What we're going to go and do is we're going to go to the shader and we're going to go and add a mix shader. So we're going to go shift A, search mix shader. I'm going to click it so that it's, it gets joined in. I'm going to go shift A and we're going to add in an emission. We're going to join up the emission to the mix shader and we're going to give it a strength of 50. Also, change the color to a blue. So, I'm going to go with. So, now we're going to start faking the light on this cube by adding in a color ramp. So shift A, search color ramp. Get the color ramp and connect the color to the factor of the mix shader. And we are also going to need a layer so shift A, search, layer, weight, and connect that to the factor. Now we're going to try and make the lighting stick to the corners where it's beveled and that's the kind of look that we're going to go for. See here there's no light. But like there, it's kind of like just catching in all these. So I'm happy with happy with this so far. We can go back and edit it later, but I'm happy with this. Around about there. I like this. And now what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna go get this color ramp, shift D to duplicate it. I'm gonna go put the color into the roughness and we're going to go add a 
noise noise texture and if you've got the, sh the node wrangler you're going to go control T and it should appear if you don't go to preferences and type in node wrangler and make sure this is ticked on now that you do have that get the object and take that to the vector and then get the factor and connect it to the factor once we've done this go to the scale and give it a scale two get the detail and make the detail 16 so max out your scale and roughness we'll give it 0 0.65 like so now get the, the color ramp drag this let's say there and bring in the white to round about to round about there finally for the cube I'm going to add some displacement so we're going to add a bump node so shift a bump get the bump to the norm then what we're going to do is we're going to add a shift a um, and grave texture and we're going to connect the height to the height and we're going to get connect the vector to the vector. I'm going to change the scale to 3 and we're going to change the strength. We're going to bring it right down to 0 0.09. And now, if we turn off all the lighting, you should see it's, it's beginning to like affect everything around it and give it some kind of smoky ice kind of look shade the plane which will be the ground so new and we're going to make this metallic we're also going to go shift a add a color ramp and we're going to connect the color ramp to the roughness now we're going to add a noise texture Put the factor to the factor, then control T and make sure you've got the object to the vector. We're going to change the scale to 0 0.5. Going to move this up to sorry, 0 0.300, right around about there. We're going to click on the white. If you see, it's, it's not very subtle. So we want to try and make this a bit more subtle. So let's just bring the color down a bit. Let's go and get some extra lighting for the scene. So we're going to go to layout. And we're going to go shift A. And we're going to add in a cube. And we're going to go S10. So that it's bigger than our scene. Now what we want to do is we want to go back to shading cube that we just put in the scene selected we want to go new and we want to delete this principal shader now shift a add principal volume there we go and connect the volume to the volume and we want to give it a density of 0 0.1 like so and now we're going to add in a area light. So shift A light area G Z and we're going to make it 500 watt and we're going to give it some blue tint. Now we're going to animate this so we're going to go over to layout shift A add in A camera and shift a and we're going to go curves circle 
Now we're going to go click on the camera and we're going to go add in a constraint and that's going to be a follow path and the target is going to be a Bezier circle and we're going to go follow curve minus x so now it follows ramp now we're going to go view camera active camera and Bezier a circle g c we're going to lift it up and we're going to hit s and we're going to keep going back and probably g z lift it up a bit more and scale it out and let's just see what this looks like we are going to add a particle system in so Let's go back to cycles and let's just go out like this. Also, let's hide this box. So, Shift A, Plane, S8, Enter, G, C, like so. Now we're going to go tap, right click, subdivide, open this little box down in the corner, and put it at 50. Now you go shift A, add in a icosphere, and change this to 3. Enter G, C, get it out of the way. Now we're going to go give this an emission. So we're going to go new, change this to emission. We're going to give it a nice blue. I'm going to change the strength to 30. Now this should be this and up like so. We're going to go shade smooth. Now we're going to go add in the particle system so click on the particle system click new so we want to change all firstly we want to change this render as from a path to an object and we want to object be a bezier sorry the icosphere and we want to change this scale to 1, like so. And we want to change the hair length down to 0 0.8. I'm happy with that. Change this down to 10. So now they're even smaller. And probably give this a 1.5. I like that. So now let's go displace this. So get a displace. Right now we have our displacement. We want to drag it above the principal. Go new clouds and make sure we get clouds. Change it down to zero on the depth and 1.08 oh and control a control a apply scale that would help now we also want to go back and add a wireframe and give it a thickness of zero and now when I move the I'm just going to do it in this because it's being slow now when I move the strength up you'll see all this particle dust rise up and down which is what we need for the next part so Let's lift this up to where we're happy with it. So let's go to the camera. 
and view mode probably um I like it there. Let's get back to animating these two cubes. And let's start with the small one in the middle. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go to the the rotation and go click I on the keypad at zero. And then we're gonna take it all the way to the end. I'm gonna type in negative seven twenty enter I and we're going to type in three sixty enter then I and now now we're going to animate the big cube and we can do that by exactly the same process but on different axis so we're going to go I I to insert keyframes I'm going to take it all the way to the end and we're going to go 360 enter I and then this would be 720 enter I so we're nearly done now let's just go ahead put the cube back in and give it a rendered image right now that you've rendered it we're going to go use nodes we're going to go shift a and we're going to add a composite and shift a going to add a viewer now we're going to go image to composite and then we're going to go shift right click and add that in like so also we need to go over to this View layer property and make sure that the denoising data is on. When it is, go Shift A, add denoise, add the denoise there, and then go denoise image, and go Shift A, go glare. Input the glare, make sure that it's full. And now, why this is just doing whatever it needs to do. Make sure when you go to save it or render it that it's rendered in a movie file and that it's done in the appropriate. If it's a Mac, it will probably be QuickTime. So, there we go, guys. I hope this helped.